Water contains chemical salts in solutions called dissolved solids. These cannot be converted to steam. So when water is boiled, they remain behind and form a residue. This process happens continuously. Whenever a boiler is producing steam, and without some sort of control, the concentration of dissolved solids would rise to an unacceptable level. The consequences of which can be seen in the following demonstration. Here the TDS control system was disabled and the TDS level has been allowed to rise to almost double its normal operational level. Boiler pressure is a fairly normal 8 bar at this point with a moderate steady load. At first sight, things don't look too bad. The bubbles at the water's surface have a foamy, creamy appearance and the surface is calmer than normal. This is not surprising because high TDS levels cause the physical behaviour of bubbles to change. They become more stable and take much longer to burst, which results in foam. What's not so apparent is that the actual boiling water level, as measured by a level probe, is not where you would expect it to be. It is in fact much lower, because the layer of foaming bubbles is substantially thicker than with normal TDS. This reduces the effective steam room within the boiler and leaves it vulnerable to carryover even when the underlying water level is within normal operating limits. This is particularly so when the water rises to a high level, such as the top of the feed pump cycle, or in response to an increase in demand. Fortunately, these problems can be easily avoided by using appropriate means of TDS control.